Welcome back, everybody. I'm glad you guys are joining me today. And of course, this is already popping up from the government where they are putting out warnings to the nation, to the voters, that they may not have access to voter, uh, to election information because of a cyber attack or something like that that could happen uh, on election day or whatever. Uh, this are coming from the same people who said that, you know, the uh, elect, the the voting machines couldn't be hacked. But so if they can't be hacked, why are we have to worry about voting machines being hacked then? Right. Of course they've lied. They've always lied, but they, they, they are going to do whatever they can in order to try to shift this election one way. And they're going to do whatever they can to do it. And that way, of course, is already, they're putting their game plan out for you to see. Uh, this is why we have to stay vigilant um, and and be aware of what's going on and, and make sure we're sounding the alarms and being as loud as we can about it, right? Uh, the same people who said that we had the most secure election of all time is now worried that we're not going to have the most secure election of all time. <laughs> it sounds like they are very worried because if Trump wins, what they'll claim is that everything was hacked and they really, uh, all those votes were flipped for Trump. So we got to take those votes away from Trump and, and install Kamala. It's going to be something weird like that that happens. And if that happens, of course, I, I can't even imagine what path this nation goes down at that point. I'm sure you guys have a very vivid imagination or vivid uh, uh, scenarios in your head of what may happen. But let's take a look at the story, though, because this is what was concerning. The FBI and the CISA raised eyebrows with election cyber attack warning. The DDOS attacks on election infrastructure could hinder access to election information, right? Uh, the FBI and the Cybersecurity Infrastructure Security Agency earlier this week sounded the alarm bells with conservatives by uh, warning that cyber attacks targeting the 2024 election could happen this fall. Huh. What a strange thing to say. What a weird thing to say, right? The two joint, uh, the two agencies jointly released a public service announcement on July 34th, first warning that the disturbed denial of service, the DDOS, attacks on election infrastructure could block public access to critical information on the 2024 election, but assured the public that there would be no impact on election security. So DC Drano says this, he says, uh, I'm, uh, I almost never say breaking. So listen up. The CISA FBI put out a very ominous warning about potential election attacks this fall. Here's the part of the bulletin that really concerns me. The public this public service announcement is to raise awareness that the DDoS attacks on election infrastructure or adjacent infrastructure that supports election operations could hinder public access to election information, but would not impact the security or integrity of the election process. Really? Really? Uh, he goes on to say, he says, many of us have said for years now that we're expecting a black swan event to occur that affects the 2024 election. What uh, will it be like a coup like 2020, World War III, a series of violent terrorist attacks, or a cyber attack. The CISA and FBI just put out a bulletin warning people of one uh, of the last one, a cyber attack. And of course, uh, other others agree. The fix is already in for Harris based on the warning and demanded paper ballots to replace machines. We should have been doing this for a long time now, right? Uh, Salty Goat here says, uh, same CI, uh, CISA that said we had the most secure election in history. Uh, sounds like, to me, they're setting the stage. Somebody else says, let the uh, rigging commence. Uh, we have, we know that they're going to play dirty. They say their game plans out loud every time. Yes. Uh, someone says, uh, my God, we need paper ballots with signature verifications and IDs. Absolutely. There should be absolutely no voting machines, paper ballots only. Right? So people are, are, our right to worry about this, right? This is something that we saw, uh, the playbook that took place not too long ago. And here we have the FBI and the CISA coming out and saying, hey, those machines that we told you are perfectly okay, they're not connected to no internet, may be hacked. How? If they're not connected to the internet? Well, don't ask questions. Don't ask questions, right? Don't ask those questions. Just believe us. And when, when the results come back that Trump won, we'll say, oh, it was hacked. It was hacked. So we need to remove him from office, right? Anyway, 
Give me you guys' thoughts in the comments down below. Of course, you guys follow me on all my social media. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Have a great, great day.